Here's the example that we've been looking at, dy dx equals x plus 1 over y. Now for this particular video, we're going to focus on a different type of question. Uh, part 3 or part C, we're going to be sketching an isocline line. So uh, what is that? Well, that's what we're going to talk about, and it's not the same as the solution curve. So never, ever confuse these two. An integral curve curves around the slopes of the tangent lines, and isocline is something different, which we're going to talk about. So let's go ahead and move to that particular part. Part C says to sketch an isocline for which dy dx equals zero. So basically, right off the bat, what I'm going to explain is we want to sketch a line on our slope field so that um, all of the slopes, so that line crosses through all the slopes that have a slope of zero. So it's a line that connects all the slopes that equal zero on our slope field. An isocline is a curve that connects the same slopes in a slope field. In this case, we want to draw a line. And in, in a lot of cases, it's actually going to be a curve that connects all zero slopes. In other words, all slopes that are horizontal on our slope, horizontal on our slope field. So let's take a look at that. Okay, so here's our slope field. I included the slopes at negative one half and one half. Uh, won't really matter though for this case because the only slopes that have a slope of zero are over here. And so what you want to do with an isocline line is just connect all these slopes. It doesn't have to hug them like the integral curve did right here where the curve followed the slope's tangents. No, it doesn't do that. What it does is just connect them. So how would you connect these four horizontal lines? Well, the best way to do it would be with this vertical line right here. And this line would be the isocline. So again, sometimes it ends up being a curve. For example, what if I wanted to connect all the lines on here that had a slope of one? Well, this one has one, this one has one, right? And uh, what I can tell is only two. So that would be a diagonal line would connect those two. But again, sometimes it ends up being a curve. So an isocline can be a line or curve, but what it does is it connects all the slopes on your slope field that have the same slope. So as you can, as you can see, there's going to be multiple isoclines. If I wanted to connect all the ones that had a vertical slope, I would actually go this way with it. Uh, and my isocline would be a line like this. In the next video, what we're going to figure out is how to determine the equation for this line. Now you can see right here the equation is x equals negative 1. But could we do that without sketching the slope field? The answer is yes, and that's what we're going to look at at the next video. That's it for this example. If you have any other questions about an isocline line, let me know.